Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another F122 Fantasy Livery video. Yes, we're back again, uh, this time with the white red ball, or the white ball livery, you might want to call it. Now, I should point out, this is my version of the livery that I had designed for career mode, driver career mode last year. Um, I can't remember which season, I think it was season three. Um, that this debuted and you know um, I've decided to bring it back for uh, another year um, especially the fact you know it was a popular livery amongst people um, as well and the ball is actually white unlike um, um, on the real life version which was red um, as well so yes obviously there are limitations unfortunately the oracle logo on the side you'll notice it's slightly lighter red um yeah i don't know what quite know what's going there because i've colored it the same red as everything else um as well so there's limitations obviously to what i can mod um, that's just unfortunately like the Honda logo, the rear wing etc 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 usual modern tour but overall um, I think I've done a good job with it. Um, I especially like the red, the white red ball, you know, with its red surroundings. So, yes, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. But um, anyway, uh, we're going to have a race around Hungary as Sergio Perez. So, uh, without a doubt, let's get into the race. Welcome back to Budapest and the Hungara Ring, infamous for its tight, narrow corners that force the drivers to constantly be on top form. No doubt, win for a great race here today. So here we are down on the grid in Hungary. Race strategy is going to be a one-stop from soft to medium. I thought about medium as a soft, but I mean it's slower. So um, yes, um, let's go uh, to five red lights to the Hungarian Grand Prix. Second place on the grid, lights out, and away we go. And it's the usual mediocre start. Disclaimer, this is on 1.07. We'll have to wait and see what the new patch brings next week. But we're going to try and get back in front of Russell straight away at Turn 1. Down the inside, we're going to force him out on the exit there and retain what is P2 from the start. Um, as far as Alonso in the pink Alpines had a st great start. He's made up what, eight positions or something like that. Um, as well in the pink Alpine, he's up to P4 ahead of both Ferraris and Hamilton um, as well so watching Daniel Ricciardo in the other modded livery we've had so far in the Golf McLaren livery car he's fighting Mick Schumacher um, you know, the man that wants 21 million dollars apparently to leave that team and be replaced by Oscar Piastri so might be turn out to be an expensive summer for McLaren and um, they might need that Golf livery um, on the car as Ricardo dies down the inside and gets in front of Schumacher then. Back to our POV, lap number two, um, Verstappen isn't, isn't, is, hasn't had a greatest exit. We're going to die down the inside and, well, take the lead away from him basically. And I'm sure the evil doctor will be uh, sulking about that, but um, I honestly don't care what he thinks. Um, as well, we're down the inside though, a nice little move. Um, but will this now just got to keep Verstappen behind, you know? But that's the problem is we've gone a little bit wide there, got to avoid that curb to get floor damage. And you know, Verstappen just decides to absolutely send it there. And I just got, I just have to lift off, otherwise, we're just going to end up crashing um, into him, you know. You see, we've got a little bit wide there, almost onto that curb. No damage, fortunately. That uh, uh, sausage curb can, of course, give you floor damage, um, which is not what we want as well but um behind us then leclerc is going to get in front of alonso now with the adis and drs um as well and you know leclerc well he doesn't get doesn't need drs it's a turn four um sorry turn three um well we've got drs on the staff i'm gonna send it around the outside turn to the inside for the next corner and it's a lovely little move up to back up into the lead assisted with drs as well and this is turning into be a great fight between myself and Max Verstappen. Um, you know, if we ever get promoted to Red Bull in our driver career mode, this could be some of the battling that we could, you've got to look forward to. So watching Daniel Ricciardo! And Daniel's lost it and Schumacher ends it for him. 
um, as well. And then there's um, oh, and the, one of the Aston Martins, and there's ghosting and all guys sorts going on. And that's a safety car, uh, the first safety car I've seen on this game for about a million years. To be honest, I can't remember the last safety car we had um, on this game. So we're coming into the pits. We're going to double stack. That's going to hurt for Stappen, uh, which is bad news for him. 2.5 second stop for us as we go through Fernando Alonso. Um, Sites carries on as does Ocon, uh, Magnussen, the two Alpines, the two Aston Martins, and the two Williams. So to, of those two bottom three bottom teams there, Alpha Tauri, Aston Martin, and Williams, one at least one of those from each of the teams should have boxed. Um, I guess you know one of us gambled, but you know you need to make that lineup. Although Alpha Tauri, the both Alpha Tauri, one's on the mediums and one's on the hards as well so there is the safety car a rare sight on this channel these days i mean it's back to what, what we were back in f1 2019 i think it was where we saw the safety car once in the blue moon and that's right it's getting that bad safety car restart then lap number eight dive down the inside of albon trying to get latifi but he's already turned the corner up to p9 it's important we try and clear the traffic as soon as possible because you know the likes of russell Leclerc have cleared Verstappen, you know, Verstappen's only just behind uh, Alonso there. So we tried to get uh, to the outside, turned the, it was switchback moving over there, um, you know, getting the tighter line for that corner. Didn't really want to go that wide, um, to be honest, but you know, it gave us the tighter line. We were able to switch from uh, right to left and get the better, better traction out the corner and get the Latifi. Next up is are the two Aston Martins. Firstly, Stroll. He's going to go defensive. We're going to take the racing line then. Um, as well, he tries to attack his teammate. There might be a bit of contact there, but we got past one of them. And now we're going to try to run it all the way around the outside of Vettel. Um, what's he doing? Oh my goodness! What on earth has Vettel done? He's like he's coming into the pits, and he's just like, oh yeah, I'm not just. Uh, I know we weren't fully alongside, but still, mirrors. You know, you've, you've got to have a presence that somebody's there. Um, you can't just turn. You know, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But we had to also make a little bit of contact with Russell, which was unfortunate, unattended contact. We're going to get Sonoda here, um, as well. Nice little overtake there. Um, as well as watching Max Verstappen, who hasn't been able to clear Leclerc, he has cleared Alonso, but he's going slowly, and Max is out of the race with an engine failure. Um, so after all of that, on lap 18, I was about to set a fastest lap of the race, and you know we were purple for the first sector, I saved the battery purposely, so that we could set a fastest lap on the final lap, Unfortunately, I ran out of fuel on the line. So, um, but yes, it's another victory in one of these races. That's just the discrepancy between Grand Prix mode and career mode, which apparently hasn't been fixed yet. Um, that's what I've just heard. We'll find out uh, next week about that. So yes, for Perez and for us, you know, we won the race there um, from quite comfortably in the end. I don't know if we gave Russell floor damage or something. Um, as well, Leclerc came third, Alonso fourth, Norris recovered to fifth, you know, um, you know, being Grand Prix mode, no qual I didn't do any qualifying for this race, so, you know, it just placed the AI randomly, and, you know, Verstappen and Ricardo failing to finish, um, you know, that was one of the better races I've had on F1 uh, 2020, F sorry, F1 22, I um, you know, because they have been quite dull at times, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie, Especially when, you know, having a safety car come out, um, even on increased difficulty through career modes, it's still not coming out. Anyway, um, enough about that. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video. If you have, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. You see plenty more F122 fantasy leaving. If you've got any that you want to particularly see, and then let me know in the comments below as well. Uh, you will be able to download this um, mod soon on discord and there's a little bit of a backlog for race department as well but um discord will be probably start next week possibly possibly um if 
not too busy and then um, race department as well um, will be uh, probably a couple of weeks time as well so uh, links all of that will be in the description below so until the next video then I'll see you next time take care thanks so much for watching enjoy your day and goodbye <laughs>